Hello and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Leon Zareas. Here are your top stories. Juanita Perez Williams is a Democratic nominee in the Syracuse mayoral race. Williams, a party outsider, won without the endorsement of the Onondaga County Democratic Committee. Her opponents in the general election are Republican Laura Levine, Independent Ben Walsh, and Democrat Joe Nicoletti, who will now run under the Working Families Party. The general election is on November 7th. Syracuse University once again finds itself in the infamous party school rankings. The university moved up to number four from the number eight position last year. The rankings compare the presence of Greek life, alcohol, and school spirit on campus. Citrus TV reporter Jenna Babiak will tell you how SU sized up at six. The Supreme Court is upholding the Trump administration's policy on refugee immigration. The decision will stop 24,000 sponsored refugees from entering the United States. The verdict overturns a lower court attempt to relax the travel ban. The decision is temporary and the court will hear more arguments next month. The leader of Myanmar will not attend a UN debate on the alleged ethnic cleansing occurring in her country. Aung San Suu Kyi is being criticized for her lack of action regarding the violent conflict between the Rohingya people and state police. A spokesperson for the Burmese leader says she has more pressing matters to attend to. Taking a look at the quad cam on an unusually warm September day with a high of 79 degrees. But will the heat stick around? Nicole Weaving has your answer in her full weather forecast at 6. And that's all for your Citrus TV News Brief. Make sure to tune in to News Live at 6 with Elijah Shama and Colleen Callender. I'm Leon Zareas. Have a great evening, Syracuse.